Well, hello everybody, this is John Michael. It's the 16th Friday of Ordinary Time, and today Jesus is interpreting the parable of the seed and the sower. I'm just going to read it. I can't do any better than this stuff, folks. Listen to what he says. He says, The seed that's sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it, and the evil one comes and steals away what he's sown in his heart. The seed on, okay, that's number one. So the evil one comes and snatches it away. The one that's sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word of God and receives it at first with joy, but he has no roots. And so it, when some tribulation or trial comes along, uh, they give up, they give up, they fall away. The seed sown, let's get over here, whoops, here we go. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word of God, but here's the deal. Then worldly concerns and the lure of money and riches choke off the word and it doesn't bear fruit. Worldliness, worldliness, see? But the seed which is sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word of God, understands it, we talked about that yesterday, and indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred, a hundred and sixty or thirty fold. Wow. So, the things, uh, you know, the evil one will steal away, understanding the word of God. That ain't good. Uh, shallow roots. You're not letting it go deep. You're not really doing the prayer and the study that you need to do to really understand it. Read, read the scripture daily. Read it in the context of the church from which it came. Read the succession of the saints, how they understood it. See? And then worldliness worldliness when you when you renounce all you gain everything but when you want something you lose it all <laughs> that ain't good so that's what this jesus interprets the the parable for us today i can't do any better than jesus and so let's just listen to what he says let's put it into practice read the word of god let it take root in your life and then bear fruit because god knows the world needs the fruit of the Spirit today. That's my prayer for you. All things are possible with God. I love you.